we get an extra card. Two, one, two, three, four. I'll hold all these cards. Like basically that sort of Zulok, right? With the Prince. It's It's got to be reasonably strong, right? Maybe can we beat Shaman? I wonder. We want to dodge the 1-3. I was even thinking of playing some sort of mid-range. Like a classic mid-range. Oh, I'll do that instead. That's going to be way better than using the coin. Oh, wow. We could really do great things. If our opponent plays a 3-4, we'll be a little upset. Oh. If this is also control shaman, we could be in trouble, but... But we'll see, since they have overloaded themselves quite a bit. And maybe we can get lucky with some Murloc Knight value later on. I think we'd, I'd rather go slow here with Defender. Uh, we're going to take a big one. Divine Shield maybe helps us out with some trades if we need that. Is the uh, Warlock Hero card worth it to craft? Um, I think it's reasonably strong right now. Uh-oh. I mean, I think it's reasonably strong. It's definitely not bad. Uh, this is also a good adaptation. Poisonous. Plants. 3, 6, and we get some plants. And we still punch through. Or poisonous. I like plants because then we're very strong against AoE. Even though we're using one of our AoEs right now. Or one of our, you know, death rattles. Um... The Warlock Hero card, yeah. I mean, that's just one of those things where it's like, yeah. If you really enjoy Warlock, I think it's reasonably strong. I know I've had trouble with it um, with a number of the decks that I played in Standard. And then we saw a really strong version here in Wild already earlier today. So so there is a bit of that as well to, to, to think about. I mean, it is a reasonably strong deck. So... Uh, you gotta go, Remco. All right. Good luck with the production. Have fun. With the, uh, the flying monkey costume. Don't like Canadian's quote. Hmm. That's okay. I know you actually love us. And we will take a getaway Kodo and maybe do that. We'll do that whole getaway Kodo Tyrion thing and that'll be excellent. And Aletia. Aletia? You said, yeah, with the Prince and Wild, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I believe that. I mean, Zulok was always... Zulok's basically always been a deck, right? So giving it a little bit more gas, and especially because Warlock can, like, draw two cards every turn, and then both of them are going to be buffed up. If the Prince hits early, it's definitely, definitely very strong. And basically the game plan here was we had the, we had the, the plant Death Rattles, from the adaptation which protected us from that first aoe so now our opponent has to use another aoe and if they do that then we'll be able to flood the board a third time with our murloc knight so the idea is yeah that our opponent won't have enough removal to deal with all of these flooded boards kind of oh blessing of kings interesting allows us to kind of win that mid game battle if we have a board already. Happy, happy, oh, happy. that's a very happy Hollow's End, apparently, with these Uthers. And we hope our opponent... Uh, um, how does this work? A 3-3? Three, three? That's fine. I think this will be fine for right now. Um, it is right now for me, I'm, I'm Eastern Standard Time, so it is, uh, hold on, I'm thinking about this turn now, uh, it is, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, ooh, Avenge is excellent, Avenge is really good, isn't it? Uh, we're gonna do this so that next turn we can do, uh, a couple more things, um, and it'll be about, around the same time. As now as it is in... That'll be on Twitch. Like basically like two hours before now. So like for starting sometime between 12 and 1 p.m. Until around 3 or 4 p.m. Usually in the afternoon. Usually in the afternoon is when I'll stream. Uh, so that's when I'll be over on Twitch there. Tomorrow. 
Oh, this is getting really, really tough. The fact that the Divine Shield comes back is really hard. Really, really hard to deal with. Um, I don't want to give this up, though, like that. Maybe this will be okay. Both of these minions have higher health. So, like, higher health than one. So our opponent's gonna have to do something to also buff this up. Desperate Stand, that's such an interesting tech card. I mean, it's caused us to have to use a lot of resources to get through this, right? So, I mean, it's been working. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. So many of these Righteous Protectors. Um... Gentle Megasaur versus Blessing of Kings. Uh, I'm going to guess Kings is better. It's 3 a.m. where you are? Oh my goodness. That's amazing. That's amazing that you're still up. I'm never up that late. That's why I got to do this in the afternoon. I basically go to bed by the time I'm done here. It's 3, 4 p.m. Time to go to bed. <laughs> I am joking, but it's not that much of an exaggeration. Uh, that's okay. Obviously not great that our Avenge is not going to trigger here. Um, do we play the Megasaur? I feel like getting this proc is going to be more important than getting the Megasaur proc at this point. Simply because otherwise we're going to fall way far behind. And then also, if we're able to buff this up with our Spike Ridge Steed, then we're really laughing. Okay, we're just going to buff this minion, like, ridiculously. Um, and again, our opponent does not have the ability to punch through on board, which is good. But we're also kind of limited with, you know, getting through this taunt that had the Divine Shield. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, Blessing of Kings, that's gonna hurt. Uh, what's gonna come out of this? A 2-6? Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Um, I think we do this, right? Ooh, we have really been battling it out with this mi these minion-based decks. Although, I guess our opponent did Hammer of Wrath. Which is a little bit of a suboptimal card, although it's really been working very well for our opponent so far. That's a card that basically never sees play, right? Hey, Avenge, there we go. I mean, that card never sees play. Oh, just trading it in. Nice. That's actually pretty good for us. Rallying Blade is fine. Rallying Blade is A-OK. -okay. Um... Let's find a big taunt, because I think we're going to need something. Yeah, there we go. Um, is our opponent going to have pirates? I'm voting no, so we'll just develop something slow right now. Um, this was bad positioning, I think, although I'm not expecting our opponent to have anything like meteor or explosive shot. We just generally want to avoid this positioning, but oh well. Hoping it doesn't matter right now. Also good that we, oh, we had the Tyrion now, and then our opponent will feel a little bit bad, but that's okay. Set of minions in attack and health equal to three. Interesting. This is a really interesting card. Uh, we can double trade into here, or we can just go slower with Murloc Knight. And I kind of like the idea of going slower here, right? Oh, thank you. And I will discover one more Murloc and hold on to it. Uh, Hydrologist, thank you. And then we'll see. And then we'll see what our opponent can really do here. Uh, Consecration's pretty good. As long as they don't have a second one. Like, if Murloc Knight survives a turn, we're in business. We're in business. Uh, the question is, how badly do I want to keep this alive? Like, I'm not committing Tyrion also to this board. Okay. Now we have to protect these. 
Uh, we can do this. And we need a secret to protect this somehow. Avenge, redemption. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, the Murloc train. The Murloc Knights just into Murloc Knights. And then you win. Of course, the Consecration super clears the board. Oh, that's fine. That's a really strange thing to do since it didn't matter. All right, game's over. Game's over and I dig it. And this is going to be a ton of Murlocs. This is going to be super buffed up, right? Oh, I can't even do it. Our opponent knew. All right, everyone. That's a great game, actually. That's a great game to go out on. That was super, super fun. And that is going to be the last game for today and right now. And thanks for hanging out with me, everyone.